Hey everybody, what's going on? In the wake of the new Fusion, I thought it was a good time to show you about a tool you can use that is free, approved, there's no danger in using it, um, that's gonna allow you to complete most of this Fusion on autopilot. So by using the link below, you can go ahead and download that software, and I'm gonna walk you through every step of the process as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's only gonna take you a couple of minutes to get it set up, and then you're gonna be ready to roll, like I said, for most of the Fusion, the dungeon, the dungeon parts in particular. So uh, let's go ahead and get started on the setup. All right, so first things first, when you click the link below that's in the pinned comment, it's gonna bring you to this screen. You're just gonna click play, raid, shadow legends. It's gonna initiate a download. When that finishes, you're gonna click it and basically just allow it to run through the installation process. So yes, we wanna allow it to install. We wanna go ahead and install now. We'll be back when it's done. Once it's done downloading and installing, it's gonna bring this window up. And from here, we're just gonna click raid shadow legends. It's gonna have you log into your Google Play and then it's gonna launch Raid. So I'll be back after I've logged into Google Play as well. From here, you're just gonna log into your account with your Plarium ID. So we'll do that real quick. All right, so now that we're in the game, I'm gonna show you how to set this up so that you can run all these dungeons on auto uh, and, and get through this fusion fairly easily. And then we're gonna talk about a couple of other little tricks with it that you can use as well that are gonna speed things up for you quite a bit. The first thing I do wanna focus on though is the dungeons. So what we're gonna do is go into a dungeon, pick any dungeon, it doesn't matter which one, because this is gonna apply to all of them. I'm gonna use Spider since it's where my fastest runs happen. So we're gonna come into Spider. Everything is as normal. Do not click multi-battle here. We're just gonna click start, just like we're doing one single run, okay? So we're gonna run through one run. At the end of this run, I'm gonna come back and show you how to set this up. All right, so the run's over. Now we're gonna set up our macro. If you'll notice over here on the right, you've got this little panel of all these different buttons. Near the top, look for the little circle with the play button in it called Open Macro Manager, uh, or Control Shift 7 will also pop the window up. All we're gonna do here is you're gonna click Record New Macro. You're gonna come down and click Replay. And then up here in the right, you're gonna click stop. Done, <laughs> that's it, you've, you've now made a macro. Uh, now you can come over here in this little window, we can rename it. We'll just call this one Dungeons. And then what you wanna do is go into your settings. The only real setting in here that you need to be concerned with is this one, this repeat execution infinitely until stopped. The others, if you wanna set a time limit or a turn limit on it, you can. Uh, I just generally go infin infinitely until stopped and then uh, Stop it when I want. But again, if you wanted to just run it for four or five hours overnight and you you know, you know didn't wanna use everything you had, that's fine. Uh, other than that, you're good. Now you can click save. And then from here, you just click play. And when I click play, you'll notice it's gonna start up a run. And now it's running. I'll cut back to the end of this run and show you when it starts another run on its own as well. All right, here we are at the end of this run and you'll see right out of the gate. It's just gonna run up and run another run. So you're good to go. Dungeons are done. Now you can take this in any, du any dungeon and run it on auto for as long as you have resources to run it, okay? Another cool trick you can do with this, with this software is upgrade gear way faster. We all know how slow upgrading gear can be uh, in Raid, and there is gonna be at least one artifact enhancement, usually two lately with the fusions, and this is gonna help you again, breeze through it much, much quicker. So what you wanna do is go into your settings, and then get your frame rate down. I think usually around 10 is sufficient. And you'll see when we go to upgrade our gear, you wanna be careful about where you're doing this in the game. Really, you only wanna use this when you're upgrading gear. Anything else you try to do is gonna be painstakingly slow with the frames dropped. But for whatever reason, when you're upgrading gear, it tends to speed it up a good bit. So as you can see, we're just running up through the levels right now, right? It, 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 it cuts a lot of the animation out of the bar filling up and you're gonna upgrade your gear significantly faster than normal. And again, it's gonna help you get through this event. Are we about to hit a nice little trip on this shield? For the video, let's go baby. Let's take it all the way. Let's take it all the way up and see if we can get this trip. I mean, you see we're already at 14. If we weren't doing this, we may be at plus five, plus six. And we got the trip for the video, baby. Let's go. <laughs> uh, good, good omen. So yeah, there you go. That's how you can upgrade gear. And then when you're done, just go into your settings, into the performance tab, and pull your frame rates back up to 60, save changes, and then you can play the game like normal. When you wanna come back and, up and, and upgrade gear, settings, drag it back down to 10, do what you gotta do, and you're good to go. Another way to speed up the fusion there. 
And there you have it guys, there's a couple tricks you can use to hopefully alleviate some of the pressure of this fusion. I got a feeling it's gonna be a tough one since it's a, it's a pretty solid champ and it's a Christmas fusion. Uh, so this way you can upgrade your gear quicker, run your dungeons on autopilot, run them overnight. As long as you've got the resources to do so, you're gonna be good. You do wanna make sure you load your energy up before you run these dungeon macros. Um, because once you run out of energy, you're done until your energy fills back up en enough for you to start a run, right? So if you if you know how many gems you're willing to spend or roughly how much energy you would need to put into each dungeon, you can load that up and run it and be done with the event when you wake up in the morning or when you come back from whatever you're doing. Another cool thing is that once you start your dungeon macros, uh, you can minimize this window, you can shrink it down and stick it over in a corner somewhere or whatever you wanna do. It's 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 pretty handy in that sense. It doesn't actually tie up your mouse. The macro runs within the program, so I can still come out here and do everything else I wanna do, uh, which is edit this video right now, uh, things like that. So again, hope this helps you. If you have any questions, drop them below. I'll be more than happy to try to help you get it sorted. And, uh, and yeah, man, good luck on the fusion. That's it, have a good one.